What's up guys and welcome back to my garage. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, I spent a boatload of cash on a brand spanking new Slant 6 here for our lad Coop. And then I thought it'd be a good idea to spend even more money on top of that, making every single engine component chrome, even the battery. Like, even the battery is chromed up, but this thing's looking good. It's running right. However, there are a few things that we need to tweak before we take it out and uh, start doing a couple of races today. I'm very, very excited to do them. I think we have three left. Highway race, junkyard run, and island race. I don't know which one I want to do first, but like I said, we do have a couple more issues to address on this lad coupe. Starting with the dash. And as we found out in that previous episode, the cluster doesn't work whatsoever i think the fuel gauge might work like these three gauges over here might work uh, but we definitely don't have a tack and we definitely don't have a speedometer either so that's the first thing i think we're going to tackle and then before we actually go racing i think i'm just as curious as you all are to see how much horsepower this thing's actually going to make so of course we're going to take it down to the new dyno as well 104 for the new cluster and i think it was 184 for the new dash uh, but thankfully, these don't have any any brown on them. You know, we we have a red interior now, so we're trying to we're trying to keep it that way. But if I remember correctly, dashboard should be four screws, two on either side, and then the cluster should just come out with it. Honestly, now we can grab our new cluster and get it set in the new dashboard. Oh, does this thing not come with a new radio? Hang on, I think we need the pry tool for that. Of course. I just went ahead and, and threw the old stuff in our pile here. Yeah, that's all we need to do. Pull that out. I don't even necessarily care if the radio works. It's not like we use the thing anyways. I just want this vehicle to be as complete as it can possibly be. I'm not so sure that the glove box is in good condition, though. So rather than removing it from the old one, I think I'm just going to buy a new one of those as well. Okay, well, that's obviously not... Great. Uh, the glove box doesn't seem to want to close. Pretty sure I installed it correctly, and I'm fairly certain that it's the right one. Not sure why that would be happening. Oh, you know what? I wonder if it has anything to do with this, uh, this hood cowl. That, again, in the previous episode, I finally noticed that that was our one spot of rust. Looks like the new dash is kind of covering it up a little bit better than the old one was. But I'm going to go ahead and just try to remove that really quick. Maybe we can patch up the rust and uh, we'll, we'll just get it thrown back on there. Somebody had mentioned a while ago that it seemed like, yeah, we do have some pretty big gaps in our trunk here. You can see in this corner, even down here, sort of by the rear bumper. For now, I'm going to pretend like I I didn't see them and, and that they don't exist. We also have a pretty decent gap right there on uh, on the passenger side. But I'm assuming it's just from, like, the floor pans and stuff. I don't think it has anything to do with the, the actual, like, body panels of the vehicle. Also, I found out why our glove box wasn't closing. It's because I forgot to actually, like, bolt up the new dash. Okay, we should have a working glove box now. Perfect. All right. I think I think that's all the work that we really had to do to this thing. I'm going to hit a quick save. And then again, we're going to make our way out to the dyno so we can see how many horse puppies this sucker is actually producing. Can't forget about the fuel, though. We currently only have like one jerry can worth of fuel in this thing, which isn't going to get us very far, I'll be honest. A few moments later. We have arrived back at the service center. I'm also kind of curious to see uh, what type of vehicles they have for sale today, because I, I believe it changes every time you, um, you load the game up. So we'll just leave that right there. We'll head on inside and see what they've got. No, it's the exact same vehicles as last time. So maybe they stay until they could stay for a week. They could stay until you purchase one of them. I'm, I'm not really sure. I guess we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. But all we need from here is a hundred dollar dino session. Dude, that is stupidly cheap, stupidly cheap. They've got the fan on the front. So I'm assuming we just pull it straight in rather than 
reversing it in. God, I'm just I'm just so interested to see how much power this thing is actually putting down now. Oops, e brake. Always forget that. Pull it right on up to the rollers. Might even have to do third person view just so I can actually see where it is that the wheels are sitting. Okay, this vehicle definitely not made for uh, four wheel drive because those rear wheels are barely even touching the rear rollers. But I think, I think we should be about good right there as long as we don't roll forward anymore. I might even have to rip the e-brake just to make sure that doesn't happen. But it said something about strap the vehicle down. Okay, we've got that front and rear. One tiny little wire, one tiny little cable front and rear is all that's holding this vehicle on at the moment. How do people usually do this? Is it uh, is it third gear poles, fourth gear poles? I don't know, dude. I've never I've never dynoed a vehicle before, but I guess I guess we're about to find out. It just says strap the vehicle to perform the test, so we should should be fine. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So let's do third gear pull to red line. 411 horsepower? That's insane. That is insane. Okay, what about a fourth gear pull? It's not loving this. It's definitely not loving this. Hang on, it's starting to come up though. Let's go back to third gear. Rev it out. Then shift to fourth. Yeah, see, it, it seems to like the third gear pull the best. Fifth is definitely not gonna work. Okay, let's do let's do third gear again then from nothing. Starting at 69. All the way to red line. 412! 412, dude. I'm impressed. Honestly, I'm I'm shocked. All that power from just a just a little six cylinder. I think we're good to remove the straps now. Looks like the fan has kicked off. God, that is just insane, dude. Now I'm curious to see what our other vehicles are making for power. Though, we don't really have very many performance parts on uh, on anything else. This is our first, like, high horsepower build, I would say. Apart from the El Camino. That's, that's obviously pretty up there, being a supercharged V8. But that's pretty sick. Okay, let's figure out where we're going next then. Um, I should probably hop out of the driver's seat just so I don't do something weird. I believe most, actually, maybe all three of these races, yeah, are at the the main island. We have the junkyard race pretty close to our house, or our garage, I'm sorry. Island race, same thing, and then highway race, obviously, takes place on the main highway. So let's, let's try the highway race first. I feel like that's going to be the easiest. I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty much just a straight shot the whole time. I wonder if this race is gonna like clear out all the other cars on the highway or at least like across the bridge. Anyways, we'll find out. Also, I think the Slant 6 might actually be more of a gas guzzler than our uh, supercharged V8 El Camino. I mean, you guys saw I filled up just before we left and I'm already nearly at three quarter tank. It's, it's pretty bad. Granted, we did do the dyno. Anyways, let's just go ahead and uh, and start this race. I should probably do another quick save just in case I end up smashing into somebody else or like the railing of the bridge. You never know. Anything is possible for these. We'll get pulled up to the starting line and uh, we'll see how things go. Oh, at least this one has a, like a checkered flag starting line. That's kind of handy. None of the other ones seem to have that. Three, two, one. Drop the clutch. And we are Audi, dude. I'm just now noticing that we have a new odometer as well. We only have 17 kilometers on this thing now. Okay, but I, I need to focus. I need to pay attention. Oh, two minutes, 20 seconds. Okay, this is going to be a long race. I kind of expected that. Good lord, dude. 
good. My foot has been to the floor nearly the entire race, apart from a couple of corners. But you can see our speedometer is about to like loop out on itself. Just full tilt the entire race. We'll get turned around here and we'll see if we've got another trophy. Excellent. Okay, the AI traffic is, is kind of wigging out a little bit. But that's all right. It's, it's to be expected. Maybe they're celebrating our big win. You never know. How many uh, Buku bucks we got? Only 800? Okay, well, the rallies do definitely pay a little bit more, and the trophy looks a little familiar, but we'll get get it put in the passenger side, and uh, we'll head back to the island so we can start our next race. We should probably fill the tank again, dude. We're about on E, just from, just from one dino session and one race also while we're here i should probably just bring our trophy across the street inside the garage we'll get it put up on on the other shelf now so this one that's all of our rally wins this next one will be all of our non rally wins i just can't get over this thing dude what an absolute unit i mean this thing this thing's hauling balls around here all right next race though next race where are we going uh, maybe junkyard race? I think the start for the island race is actually right behind us here. At that sign. Is that what it says? No, that's the junkyard race. Okay. Well, let's get turned around then in that case. And, uh, we'll start this one. Time to beat this time around is 1 minute and 20 seconds. We'll see what we can do. I'm gonna just line up on the right side because it doesn't look like traffic's gonna slow down for us. Three two, one, launching it. All right, we're out. I don't know where I'm going. Also, I might have blown the tires. We're gonna have to restart. Hang on, let me um, let me get out and inspect our tire tread. Oh no, they're still fine. Okay, I was just maybe giving it a little bit too much throttle around the corner. And you know, if we are racing to the junkyard, maybe we, maybe we wanna hang a right here? This is, oh my good lord. Okay, I need to be really careful with the throttle on this thing. Um, but this is usually the route that I would take to the junkyard. So, I mean, it makes sense. But a minute 20 on this, on this road? That seems quick, dude. I think this one's going to be quite a bit more challenging than the last one. Oh yeah, this is tough, dude. This is tough. I'm, I'm still gonna try. I don't think we took any damage from that, but we may, we may need to restart. Yeah, there's, there's no shot. It's tricky, dude. There are a lot of twists and turns on this thing. Yeah, nope. I'm not even gonna cross the line because then, by my own rules, I'm not able to, uh, to restart. So. We'll try it again. This time for sure, you guys. This time for sure. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more careful as I almost smash into another vehicle. We're fine though, we're chilling. It's gonna be close. Oh, got it. Got it. Almost. Almost totaled the thing. But we got it. Wow, that was sketchy. Wait. 
I got out in front of the junkyard. Now it's gonna load all the stuff in the junkyard. Unreal. Did we damage anything? Honestly, dude, I think we're good. She got a little, a little dusty, but that's no big deal. $500 for that. That was so much more difficult than the, than the highway race, but so be it. We've got another trophy out of the deal. $500 richer. I can't really complain. On to the next one. Again, since we are so incredibly close to the garage, it only makes sense to bring back our newest trophy and get it put up on display right next to our junkyard run one. I'm not going to lie. I, I almost, I almost grabbed the controller for the last one just to make driving a little bit easier on myself. I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking that I, I, I should probably just grab it for this next one, but I'm going to try it first without and uh, we'll see how things go. Oh, look at that. A tent just popped up. A fire stove. Sorry, fire stove tent just popped up. Gotta be, gotta be lore friendly, of course. Uh, just popped up, so I'm assuming we're gonna be doing a full loop for this one. I guess we're gonna find out here shortly, won't we? Uh, are we going straight though, or are we going left? What are we doing here? Left it is, okay. Gotta get turned around. Hopefully it doesn't start the countdown just yet. All right, we're good. Two, one, drop the clutch, and we're gone. Okay, that turn really, really snuck up on me. Dang it, dude. Oh no. Oh no, I don't think I saved after I finished the junkyard race. Dang it. All right, well, I gotta do that one again real quick and then we'll, uh, then we'll move on to the island race. Holy cow, dude. That one was was so close. The As I was saying, that one was so close the first time around, I honestly wasn't sure we were going to be able to do it again. The only thing that broke was the rear window? Okay, not even... What did I hit? Oh, okay. I think we have... Yeah, we've got a little bit of damage there on that, on that driver's side quarter. Could be worse. Right? Could always be worse. I can't leave without picking up our reward again. Also, the trophy is different this time. I would say racing with a broken back glass is probably pretty dangerous. So while we're at the, uh, while we're at the old garage, I'm going to go ahead and get that replaced. Might even hammer out that rear quarter just a little bit and, and get it resprayed. Get it looking nice, you know, before this final race. That definitely took quite a bit more Bondo than I was expecting that it would. Uh, so much so that now I have to lop off the entire roof again because I can't, I can't respray the black on the... You get what I'm saying. All right, you get what I'm saying. We got to remove it so we can do it properly. Also, I have to respray the rear spoiler. It's, it's a whole thing. Honestly, we could just roll without the roof for this next one, but then we wouldn't have any glass... As cool as it looks without the roof, I, I can't do it, dude. I, I just can't. You know, it's definitely not perfect, but it's it's all here, it's all together again, and we're back on the road. That's, that's all I wanted. All right, I'm whipping it out for this one. The controller, what did you think I was talking about? Dude, get your head out the gutter. Also, if I remember to talk about this at the tail end of things, I will, but I get this question all the time, which is how do I properly set up my controller? Jeez, that first turn. Um, how do I properly set up my controller for my garage? So again, if I remember at the tail end of things today, I will touch on it very briefly, though I'm sure there are probably better tutorials out there. I've just never like 
had a had a video opportunity to be able to talk about it. I'm gonna just focus on driving right now, okay? tree avoid the tree at all costs okay we're fine we're fine we just got to go up the switchbacks and we'll be crossing the finish line in no time dude we're chilling right now why are you guys freaking out you're freaking me out Close, dude. It's gonna be close, but I think we can do it. Yeah, we've got plenty of time still. Plenty of time. There we be. We have done it. Every single race in the game successfully finished. All we have to do now is pick up our cash prize of 800 bones. Why am I, why am I moving? I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's just pick up the trophy and we'll take it back to the garage. But seriously, you guys, what a machine. What an absolute unit, dude. And look at that. Ain't that just a thing of beauty? We've got every single trophy now on display. Let me check just to make sure that I'm not missing one. Yeah, now all we have to do is have a better quarter mile drag time and we'll be in business. Anyways, controllers. Let's talk controllers so first you want to hit options there in the menu you want to go to configure controllers we're going to start here with the steering axis that's going to be our left stick so all you have to do is literally just click on it uh, for this one i'll just replace it for the sake of doing things we have our, our stick zeroed we're just going to wait and now we move the axis all all we do is just move this this is, this is a bad tutorial, I, I realize this, but hopefully it'll help you guys out enough. Um, so we're gonna add that one even though it was added already. Throttle is of course your right trigger, so you just click on that, wait for it, and then input it when it when it prompts you to do so. Uh, brake axis, obviously that's gonna be our left trigger. Clutch is left shoulder button, that's, that's LB for me. Um, I do have automatic clutch over here enabled, so I don't really use uh, LB ever, but it's there should we ever need it. Handbrake, probably put that on A. That's that's what I use. It's it's pretty easy to use it that way. Shift up is B for me. Again, this is an Xbox controller, though my green screen's going to do some weird stuff to this yellow, unfortunately. Um, and then X is going to be our downshift. Down here, we have our horn. Put that wherever you want. Right stick, like pushing it down is, is usually what people do there. Uh, looking car horizontal this is where it gets weird okay so just bear with me even though it says looking horizontally in the car i do have it on the right stick y axis which is usually up and down most of the time for whatever reason it's inverted so i have it on right stick up and down uh, then looking vertical which should be up and down is actually right stick horizontal on the x axis and then moving down, I don't know how important it is to actually set these up because technically you should have set them up up here with the with the steering axis. But horizontal is going to be the left stick on the X axis this way. Uh, vertical is obviously going to be on the left stick Y axis that's going to be up and down. Uh, jump you can set up if you want. I don't ever walk around with the controller. I always just use key keyboard and mouse for that. But uh, crouch would be B, sprint is going to be left stick 
uh, pushing it down. And then lean is going to be right stick pushing it down as well. Sit in car is Y. Again, never actually use that. Um, but that's that's how I have it set up. So hopefully that helps you guys. Again, there are probably a lot more in-depth, a lot better tutorials out there. But since a couple of you asked, there you go. But I do think that's probably where we're going to wind things down at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.